Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? What's been happening? My name is Omi Odike and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling here. I love to give away to wheat and juicy juice and today we're talking maybe Naja lockdown day 39. Oh my gosh, let me just tell you guys just that I just finished posting on my Instagram page. Hmm. Do you know that Kid Wired, uh, Kid Wired's father, might have just given his blessings to Erica and Kid Wired's you get me union and thing. Like when I saw that, I was like, wait, what? Hmm. That's how. See, this is where all the just goes not to subscribe because if you don't subscribe here, like you're joking, yeah. Let me use the gist here. So that's how. You, if you're Nigerian or Lagosian, really, you know this official guy, Daily Mamadu, yeah. So he was having a, a live chat with Kid Wire's father, Terry Wire, and Kid Wire's father was like, see, he likes his son, he respects his son, and he has seen that, that that's the, that's his choice that he has made as Erica, yeah. And he as Terry Wire. He, do, he, he doesn't discriminate to him. He feels like we are all one Nigeria, yeah. So anybody he, he picks from any tribe at all that he will welcome the person that is get me. I'm like, okay. And I forgot to tell you guys, I'm so my bad really. Um, I think some days back, some days back, Kid Wire's mother did a video on Instagram or online really and she was crying how she's proud of her son. He was watching him because that day, that was the whole Indomie task where he had to like wear, like represent his, his, um, bios, like, his town, you get me? So watching him, ah, he was emotional for her, so she was tearing up, crying that she's proud of him, she please vote him, all that thing, all that thing. And then now I'm seeing a video of the father proud of the son obviously and you know officially officiating or just giving their blessings guys fans want to go poo -poo. Eh, see fans in the comment on my instagram page i posted the videos talk to your homie tv go and check it out yeah see fans in the comment section hey that they're doing as be that they're wearing versace because you know ah, they're billionaires you get me so they are, they are already planning the wedding i'm like i have my fingers crossed though i'm happy obviously like who's not happy like, if you're not happy for erica Maybe an enemy of progress. You're happy, man. What's, what, what is your own? So, immediately I shot yesterday's video here. Yeah. When I was done, I watched something here. Yeah. So, Erica, Tolani, Badge, and Kid were talking about the whole um, Lucy crying after the whole Pepsi challenge, yeah, how she was crying. Now, Kid has come to explain to us why she was crying. Now, Kid said that what Lucy told him was that she was crying because she was the one that forgot her line on stage and she was the one that messed up the whole performance here yeah, because earlier when they just shared the whole task thing here yeah, like in, into groups here yeah, she was complaining about being on kid wire's team she did not want to be there i mean kid wire we know that music is not really his thing just just not been any like song related task that he has won so she was like she, she complained a lot to get me and then after all the complaints she now gets there and then she was the one that flopped so that's why she was crying but um what's her name erica was like a beg that they should leave that one job erica got really angry she feels like um she wants attention why was she crying that even while was complaining about not being in key bias team you get me um or being his partner because we like in two yeah erica and that at least even her faith be positive on what the girls still complain and complain and she was complaining so erica is like a beg that, that that's how lucy is this is a complaint like lucy nags really she was just going off I don't know. You know what? With you say, I'm not taking it one day. I was saying, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm just watching. Whatever energy she gives me today, I will take it. What she gives me tomorrow, I'll take it. Maybe in Nigeria, I don't kill my head. I told you guys before, I don't kill my head. I want gist that I want you not to kill your head over. In fact, on the contrary, people are actually happy about this gist. So let me tell you guys. You know that Prince and Telani Bata finally broke it up. Hey, guys. Like, I told you guys in like, I don't know what episode it was, but I gave you guys just that. Tyler was complaining about Prince, how, you know, she doesn't feel it. Like, she doesn't feel like what's happening here. Prince said to her that, he, like, going forward, he was going to try to be better. But if she doesn't see any change in him, like, she doesn't see the man that she wants in him, that she can break up with, like, break up the whole thing on Friday, that's, that's, Today that is that, so this is Tuesday, this is Thursday rather, but the video come out on Friday, you get me? So he was like that she can break up with him on Friday, you get me? now that's what he said, yeah. But so I so I have been seeing him try, but we all know that uh, they don't just connect yet. So today they were just saying, and the tiny bad was like, see, we don't make each other happy. This is like no, you keep assuming for me. I've never come to tell you that what's up with this again? Okay? I've never come to tell you that you don't make me happy. I've never done it. But you always just assume. Tell anybody say, okay, 
I'm not doing it again. Please, but obviously, looking at you and hearing what you say, I can tell that I don't make you happy as well, yeah. And you talk to me about it. I told her things would be better. I've tried. Um, tell me about this issue is like, I don't know. But I think maybe when, I think the morning when they wake up, yeah, Prince is, Prince is not, to come to how like he gives her he's just he has mood swings and people like see before before they start to have i won't call it when they dating whatever they did that they had yeah, that he has had his mood swings since you get me so it's not like it's a new thing because of her you get for he was like see yeah if at this point in time you don't see it let us be friends no problem i don't mind i will not get angry with you let us you know prob they can probably like when they go out of the house they cannot try to date again but as it is now let them be friends and i'm like yes let me tell you what i think because fans are happy i don't I know i don't know if it's all these fans are happy or princess fans are happy but me what i would say is that I think it's good for Prince to leave totally bad. I think so. Prince was almost bottom four last week. You get me? Almost. And and, and I think he was almost bottom four last week because of that conversation he had with Tolani that Tolani cried. I feel like him because there's no chemistry, we can tell they, they don't like it's not like that. Like, see, Prince is opposite how he is with Tolani when he's with Dora. Like even after they, they have broken up, they're not friends like he and Tolani gets. They, he has been with Dora. They've been playing games together. Like he laughs with Dora. They had just they, this thing they do. He she put his hand. He put hand on his waist, chest, and like this. They play. They talk. They like Prince is jolly when he's with Dora and Tricky. He like we see Prince in his. But when he's with Tony, it's so regimented. So I'm happy for in particular Prince because yeah, man, let him stay off the girl because see. You know, we call sentimental, you know, as a people, yeah. Looking at, like, if he's, because me, I, I said, from the first day they said to date, I said that, Prince, nobody has a gun to your head. Obviously, you don't like this girl. Why you, I, I, I mean, so, when they were together, it was obvious that, when I saw, it, it, it just said to look, look like he could, like, maybe he did not like her, he was using her, or just, you know, I, I feel like he, he killed this game. And I'm happy that he's not with her again. I'm, I'm very happy. Now, for Tony Badge, I don't know. I don't think being with Prince really changed her. I mean, we all know that. I mean, I, I, I say we all know, but how Tolani Badge and Prince got close? I don't know. I just for Prince too. I think staying off works for him. But Tolani, I don't think there's any difference in her attitude. They, they've never been like that chummy couple. It's never like that, yeah. And then let's move to Neil and V. Oh my gosh, guys. Neil and V are fighting again over food. Like, are you serious? At this point in time, I don't know what to do or say. How to, I don't understand because okay, what happened was V was microwaving chicken. I think maybe maybe I think maybe like three pieces of chicken or something like that. I don't know. But she had eaten two, and Neil kept on saying because she was in the kitchen with Nengi and she was, she was eating chicken in the kitchen again. Yeah? So Neil kept on telling Nengi that I ah, look at V. Eating chicken, she never call me. You guess, and V's like, "Who are big?" Nelly was like, "Can't you hear him?" V's like, "Ah, that he has rice and stew in the fridge." You get me, and she be eating, but she doesn't have food. So this is what she wants to eat. Let her, I be let him live, but let her eat what she wants to eat. You guess. So I think later because when V was discussing the matter with Lekon, there were things that happened that cameraman did not show us. So I think after that conversation, yeah, I think Neil went to go and meet her. According to what you're telling Lekon. No one's gonna meet her to ask her like what's up with Anna and she was like ah that somebody cannot enjoy something alone in this house not what she said to Lekos so Lekos not like CB you're not alone if you want to enjoy something alone then stay alone she's like no she loves um new but when it comes to food Lekos is like why are you guys crying over food even me I don't understand like there one thing is it that food is a problem i don't know or secondly is either maybe they just want to quarrel to spark things up because i'm talking about it right now if they had not quarreled i literally might have done today's video without mentioning their names at all do you get what i'm saying so maybe they did that quarrel because they want me to want bloggers to carry it i don't understand again even lekon was like yeah we should stop quarreling over our food it makes no sense whatsoever v is like see here that she, she her issue is not that she doesn't want to share with him but her issue is that she doesn't want to share everything with him if she's drinking mineral he will come and take that like he wants to take a sip if he's eating this one he wants to eat lekon is like yeah because that's what makes him special. She says, no, almost um, just a talk, talk. They go about special food. Let's call him God at some point. But the good thing was, at the end of the day, 
they sat down to discuss about the matter and they seem like they were fine. Neil told me that see, no, there's nothing in this house that he asked her for that is hungering him. Like, no, but is that whole thought of get me sharing it with, with her that is cool, yeah? If it's not strategy, I just feel if not strategy, what I would say is that there are different people. V is not the most, and I know that she told him that I think maybe like third week, yeah. They are different, yeah. V is not the most mushy kind of person, she's not. And Neil is obviously a, like very emotional according to what he has said so far. So that's why they are having clashes and things, you feel me? But I don't know, it's becoming, they are good now, they have reconciled, they are, but if they have one more food fight again, I'm not going to be like, okay, so I, hand, hands down. But I can't, like, like if today, when they reconciled and they were saying, and they looked cute, you know? I, I feel like they should give me more cute woman than fighting because the fighting at this point in time kind of just looks like i didn't feel is it like is it, it does this make sense it doesn't look i want to see more because you know i told you on sunday that i want to open my heart more to v and Neil's relationship here yeah. so I, I really want to see more because i like v as a person i like Neil as a person but them together dating i don't know it makes me look petty really la, la, la. so that's what i think so I me mean, i want to see more mushy love something get me than I don't know, my next fight here. Yeah. Next one, next gist will be I want to address something now. See, almost every other weekend, yeah, my battery is almost low. Please don't, please don't, please don't even die on me. Don't even try that. Almost every weekend, you get me. I have noticed that one video or the other will come out about Otto and Nengi like strafing. I've noticed this. The first video I saw, I was confused because i was up all night because usually this video now i have to work on this i have to post it online so i'm up like and right now time is 11 28 but by the time i'm done with the video and it's up on my channel it'll be like maybe like 3 a.m 4 a.m you feel me so I'm, i i will on the tv to watch and i watched the, the show and i did not see anything like straff at all between also and Neng. so i was confused so i know me i have like my Contact them that know all the and I call my contact that have found. I can't like who is alive. Because the, the clip was and someone sent it to me. It was like that the clip is not baby Niger. Like it's not baby Niger. It's baby another country, not like Nigeria and baby Niger chicken. And I said okay. Now check it three days ago on that video she came and I as in and the videos will be crazy and like and the person watching it will be like ah nengi nasha so I feel like there's an agenda to pull this girl down because well, it's not showing on TV or maybe there's a side of the television that we're not saying or maybe it's the whole show max thing I don't know but what I'm watching Sha when the cameraman because cameraman doesn't really show us head of house room that's not like but when he shows us Sha nothing is happening so I want to say two things is that is a lie or do you know what I don't know? Is it a show mark show? Please let me know if they've struck because I have not seen them stuff at all. I don't think they stuff at all. But if you have seen anything that I don't know, please tell me in the comment section. And then, okay, guys, finally, Prince has won something for himself. So they had a challenge um, earlier today. That's yesterday, my dear guys. Kuda Kuda Bang is an okay. I'm not about to do marketing for you guys. <laughs> A branch, yeah. <laughs> a branch, yeah. And then they had like two things to do. First of all, they were supposed to act a drama about the like services of the of the app or the company, shiny or the brand. How about that, the brand? And then they're supposed to now do a game. Princess team, Princess team had Dorothy, New, Tolani Batch, Wicked team, my boy. <laughs> and yeah, so I think there are like five of them here. Yeah. So they did that. Their drama was the best. The video is on my Instagram page. You want to watch the video of what drama shot? Go to my page and talk to your homie TV on Instagram. Go and watch it. Get me. I watch it there. But that's where the best. Then they, after that, the, the game they did was just to hold a rope with one hand and untie. Cause the rope had like three loose knots. Shot. Untie the rope. Un untie the knot with that same hand and, and don't leave the rope. You get me. But anyways, please them. They won. At the end of the day. Prince and his team, they won 1 million naira to share and the bank still gave like the whole house with 1 million naira to share as well. So I mean, big ups to them all. And then they now had their whole presentation for their superheroes. I mean, they did a good job. I learned a lot of things about like a lot of housemates. Kidwire came on a purpose kind of level. Ah, get me that his popsy. Ah, how much? He said, okay, what did he say? He said, he said that his popsy. I was celebrating his birthday, like 40th birthday, and Popsy flew like 14 governors of Nigeria, like 
to London and that now made the popsy like that now made Obasanjo have to be the popsy. The popsy is so yes, you know, the popsy even was Alamisia's you know Alam for Kama Governor. Alamisia's friend, Popsy built Alamisia out in the UK. Oh my the pop oh my kid doesn't give us a kind of get me heavy political kind of I say okay, I mean it's a brilliant song. What is the I mean? Give us this, we don't mind. Then Tricky T, I told you Tricky T has a very see anybody who watched that. Okay, okay let me give it just a time. I told you Tricky T has a very like emotional story. That brand needs like he needs all the fame. I, I'm happy he's here, Sha. But his story was so emotional on Twitter. Everybody was like, Ah, oh, Tricky T, like his mother, like helped them, sold her dresses to take care of them. Put her children first. The mother was like the right or die person. Tricky sister was very emotional. I'm happy he's here. I'm happy he's. This is the sixth week and he's still here, guys. If you really like Tricky T, you can follow him on Instagram because you know, you know, like influencer, which they will be when they leave the house here. Yeah. And no, 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 we want that because he, he's a director, he's also an editor and all that. Yeah, but for that influencer side, side of the people in Nigeria. So basically, half mates will come out and become influencers because I mean they have fame, they have people watching them here. If you want him to succeed in that in that angle, please go on Instagram. He's tricky T. Just type it and follow him, please, because he needs it. Oh my god. Oh my. And any other person you like, if you like any other housemate, yeah, go there and follow them on Instagram. You have to follow them. I mean, I mean, you can follow them on Instagram too, my darling. But yeah, Chukisi was, uh, was emotional. Erica's story was quite emotional as well. She talked about her mother, how her mother was shielding her. She said that at some point, yeah, like, yeah, I think in GS1, one woman came and said, Ah, you're beautiful, Lula. Do you want to do modeling? I mean, your hair is so nice. Come and do um, one commercial for me. The mother went home and cut Erica's hair. Like the mother really shielded her, but as she has grown up, she has come to realize that she was trying to help her. She was just trying to just you know cover her as a single mother. She did not want her child to spoil. Everybody's story was just amazing. Prince's story, how I mean, while he was younger, he was stubborn to his father, but now he has seen that the father was fighting for him. Like everybody's story was good and what only has a story about how she was still a virgin when she gave birth to her daughter like it wasn't like it, you know, there was no it wasn't straf straf here that it was all these people that was saying let me put the tip and say hmm. all these guys that say tip and tip eh all these guys eh and i mean i kind of believe because i mean yeah, there, there are some there are some makeup okay no we're not going to go there but do you think it's possible for somebody to literally get pregnant as a virgin just by making up and putting tape like this? is it possible tell me the conversation well i mean it was a good time i i kind of just think they want their wage are obviously let you read because it was dope no i know i mean i told you that they painted they, it was just a good emotional time people cried trickity cried nengi cried nengi story about her mother it was just a good time yeah but that's it my darling back is about to die so let us let us round up but i want to finish this one by shouting people out first of all i want to shout ij babe Mwah. i love you jamila abubaka Mwah, baby i love you Mich Rachel. michelle darko Mwah. i love you and ogun dare yesterday Mwah. i love you they asked me to shout them out you want me to shout you out just tell me you want me to shout me out in the comment section and i'll shout you out my darling i love you guys so much thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel because i mean amen get me watch my videos and share this video to your friends and family and thing and, and check all the videos shall live video of Bibi Ninja on my Instagram page. I love you guys so much. I'm back to the bottom there. I need to end now. Thank you for watching. Have a guys see me. Let me do something quickly. See my wallpaper is, is spoiled. Like my chair keeps hitting here and it gets bad. It's annoying. I don't know what to do. But yeah, it's spoiling. That's more than two. I want to change my hair. I don't know what next to make. I don't know what style to make. Like, ah, uh, this has a little my problem. This is the one reason I wanted to cut my hair. I cut my hair, but I didn't have the balls to like slam it low, low. Because when I need to change my hair, like that whole what style do I do? I don't like it. I don't know what style to do. <sighs> I wish I could just get like a dope ass wig. If you have, if you have a wig company, and you want to promote your wig. Hold on now. Give, just give me one dope wig side parting nice wig let me wear and just push it because i don't know i i i if i oh I, 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 I probably would braid i'm not sure but i mean that whole dilemma i don't know what style to do i love this color if i can't do this color again i don't mind doing it again i don't mind doing this hair again but if i do it again i'll not mix black i'll just do the color raw because i love it i think it will shine better if i get the like 
It's called tea green. I did the tea green color roll. I think it will shine better. But that's it, my darling. No, it's okay. Let me just leave you guys alone. <laughs>